Hello. So for this video, we're going to chapter 14 in the psychology of learning. And at the very beginning of that chapter, talks about Carl Lashley and two key findings or principles he found regarding the brain and how the brain works. So I'll be talking about those in this video. And of course, chapter 14, we're looking at physiological approaches to learning. So we're going to be looking at the brain and different physiological processes uh, and how they influence the behavior of organisms. And so here Lashley found two very important principles. Of course, the principle of mass action and the principle of equipotentiality, right? So the principle of mass action, the principle of mass action Lashley found or concluded that the cortex works as a unified whole, right? Cortex of the brain works as a unified whole. Um, and in some ways, you can talk about the brain in general working as a unified whole, uh, in that there is activity throughout all the different areas of the brain all the time. Um, so don't go too far. So, so really, Lashley's principle of mass action is a warning not to go too far with localization of function, right? With that, and what later in the book, uh, or in the chapter, it calls dichotomania, right? With the left-right brain stuff, which is crap. But anyway, uh, because once again, the brain works as a unified whole. So there might be some sort of localization of function, but, but the brain works as a unified whole, all right? Uh, so, basically, Lashley uh, would have these rats learning, you know, a complex learning task, such as, let's say, for example, running a maze, right? And um, <clears throat> after they learned to run the maze, right, he would do brain surgery on these rats, and he would destroy specific parts of the cortex and then see if the rat still retained that ability to some extent, and it did. So the particular location of the, the damage didn't seem to be related to loss of learning in a complex task. Instead, it was the amount of damage that hurt learning in a complex task. So he'd go in there, he'd have to destroy a lot of the cortex before that complex learning would go away, that led to the conclusion principle of mass action. The cortex works as a unified whole. All right? So that's mass action. Now, equipotentiality, equipotentiality, right? Uh, this is referring to uh, the fact that some areas of the brain do rel are relatively associated with one particular ability or function. Uh, and if you leave some part of that area of the brain associated with a particular ability intact, then the organism will to some extent retain that ability, right? That's the principle of equipotentiality. Equipotentiality kind of suggests that, well, ooh, every part of a brain area associated with that ability could carry out that entire ability. That's not true. It's not like every area is equally, can equally do that task. But, if some part of that brain area is left intact, then you retain that ability to some extent. So you see that, uh, you know, uh, in stroke victims, brain damage victims, right? Say I had a stroke, and it damaged my Broca's area, my left hemisphere, right? Damaged Broca's area. Well, Broca's area is the ability to speak. Well you know, it'd have to completely destroy my Broca's area for me to lose every bit of my ability to speak, right? So if you left, if the stroke left some part of my Broca's area intact, I would to some extent still be able to make noises and hopefully enough to be able to communicate good enough. Unlike some of my videos earlier today where I couldn't pronounce stuff, but I'll just throw out there, you know, when I was younger, I had a speech impediment. So I saw a speech pathologist when I was a kid, went through and stuff, and still, 
Still, sometimes I can mispronounce some words and things. So I'll just throw it out there. Just so you know. You don't think, oh my God. Dr. Collier's drunk. That's why you can't, pr can't pronounce stuff. That's not true. Just want to make that clear. Right? Speech impediment. You notice I have overcome that and become a professor. Yes, I have. Anyway. Uh, also notice I'm wearing my Isotopes baseball hat right now. Albuquerque Isotopes, yay! They're a minor league baseball team. So much better than the Peckers in Fayetteville. Of course, Peckers are new. I haven't been to a Peckers game yet. Fayetteville Wood Peckers. Oh my goodness. But anyway, um, I don't know if Fayetteville is evolving in the right direction or not. Of course, that's been the case for a long time. <laughs> that's a joke. That's a joke. Anyway, right, so mass action and equipotentiality. I hope those make a little sense. And sorry I got off topic there at the end of this video. Good luck studying.